Okay, I think this might be the last of this series because it um, seems like I've gone through a lot of information and I think it's enough to go on where you could actually look up some other technical drawings and, and try and do the same thing we've been doing. Um, this last one is more complex than the others, so it's worth going over. But, um, you know, generally I think it, I've got to stop at some point because if I go through, uh, especially that orange book, uh, that I have, if I go through some of the really complex technical drawings, you'll just be watching me try and figure it out for an hour or more. And that's not really the spirit of this. The idea is to keep these down around 10 minutes and, and let you uh, try it first and then watch the video and see either where you might have had trouble and, um, or, or you find some shortcuts or some extra tips or something. So, uh, this may be the last video, you know, I don't, I'm not, not sure, but I, th I think this is probably a good finale. So let's do uh, the same thing we always do, which is make a new component and I will call it index slide. And I'll make a uh, sketch just on the front here. And um, in this case, it's kind of similar to the other one. It looks like a rectangle mostly. And, um, and then everything just kind of gets cut out of that. So I will make it uh, 50 by 108. Okay, and um, let's get some things out of the way. First of all, it does seem to be symmetrical, right? Like the two sides seem to be the same. So I'm just going to change that to a construction line and then make a line over here that's the kind of cutout angle. And I can, um, I can go back and mirror that over to the other side, or I can do it now. Let's, um, let's put some dimensions on it first. So this is 30 degrees. And the distance from here to here is 11. Okay, and now I can just go to create, mirror, mirror that thing over this mirror line. Again, I normally do these in the 3D modeling workspace, but uh, in the solid tab here, but I, you know, if it's just one or two things that you're mirroring, I think it's okay to do it in the sketch. Uh, so, the main thing here that seems complicated is these arcs that go over here. How do we actually dimension those? Um, there is one, uh, well, let's, let's do this. We, we know that the, the outermost one, the leftmost one has a radius of 95. We don't know where its center is. So let's make an arc that is just a three point arc. It's going to start here and end here and then kind of, uh, do that. Now, this is useful because there is a dimension that goes from here to here, and that's 11 millimeters. Um, you'll notice that it's still blue, even though I think I, did I put a, okay, I didn't put the radius in there, it's 95. Okay, it's still blue. And the reason for that is because it can do this. So uh, I can do, I can fix that one of two ways. I can either say that these two points have to be vertical from each other, that fixes it. Or if I undo, uh, the other thing I do is say that this center point of the arc needs to be in the center here. So it needs to be coincident with this um, midpoint line or this midline, whatever you call it. So I'll hit coincident and that fixes it as well. So this is good because uh, now we can see that um, the other arcs actually use that as their center point as well. So now we can create arcs that are center point arcs. This is the center point, and then it should look like this. Oh, what happened? Let's try that again. Swipe up uh, here, from there, to here, to here. And uh, let me just draw the other one too while I'm at it. So there are, oh no, there are only two. No, there are three. So there's another one that is um, kind of a construction line that shows us where the center of our circles or holes are. So I'll make that a construction line right away. Uh, this one has a radius of 82. In the drawing, it's up here. And this one is 70. And there is a line that comes down here. But, you know, we don't really necessarily have a dimension for that yet. There's no distance from here to here or a distance from here to the right side. So um, we'll have to figure that out later. Um, this big hole 
does have a dimension and that's the center of it is 40 millimeters from the end of this whole object so let's put that one in place so it's what size 28.6 and if I make a dimension from there to there it is 40 okay now we get, now we have the ability to dimension this because the distance from the center of that hole to that line it says is 13 and you can see there's some overlap there but that's by design um, the last things are to make our circular hole here which it says is 10 millimeters uh, there is a dimension from the mid line to the center of that circle is 16 so that's fine it's turned black and um, and then there's also a line over here, right? Like a line for that groove. So let's zoom in. Okay, this distance here is 11. And you know, again, for some reason in this drawing, they, they say that that's 11 and the overall distance from this one to the corresponding one is 22. It seems a little redundant. It's kind of a weird way to, to dimension it on the drawing, but whatever. So I will create a mirror and I'll say this circle and this line, oh, sorry, this horizontal line over here are going to be mirrored over this center line. Hit OK and I think that's it for the sketch. So I'll hit finish and um, let's try doing some extrusions. Now there may be a more efficient way of doing this, but I think what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to extrude everything that, you know, if I was looking at a silhouette, everything that would show up in the silhouette and I will extrude that to its kind of maximum depth which is well let's let's go this way uh, negative 28 that's the depth of this thing and the reason why I went backward is because I have more more extruding to do from the top and so I can choose uh, these faces these profiles and extrude them down six millimeters negative six okay getting closer uh, I think the only thing that's left is that groove so I will choose this but if you notice the dimension is the bottom of that groove to the back is 16 millimeters so it's not a distance from the top here so it's not like these others that were six millimeters away from the top so this is an interesting extrude I'm going to hit extrude and I'm going to say uh, don't start from the profile plane which is out here start from an object which is going to be actually the back of the body then I want to extrude this way but I don't want to start back there because that's just cutting a hole in it I want to start with an offset of 16 millimeters okay getting closer but that's going the wrong direction so it should be negative Whoop, hold on hold on hold on <laughs> So 16 millimeter offset, but I think we want a negative 16 millimeter offset. There we go. And then the distance is going to be all because we want to cut all the way through the body. And that's it. So sorry, I was a little clunky, but we're, we're extruding this profile from the back of the model, but not actually starting there, the starting the cut there. We want to start the cut 16 millimeters away from that reference point or reference plane and then we're going to cut all the way through so let me hide the sketch to see if it's a little more visible what we're doing uh, you can see here whoops so oh boy okay <laughs> uh, okay well that worked anyway I, I don't know what happened there with the mouse but uh, that that last extrude is kind of the key to it all and um, this is exactly what's in the drawing Okay, uh, hopefully this is uh, some extra useful information, especially about weird extrudes like that and how powerful they can be. You might otherwise think that you have to make a lot of separate sketches, but you can see we did it all from that one sketch, and it's not really complex. It's just that it um, holds all the information we need. The other thing I think I may have mentioned before is if you right-click and choose Show Dimension, you can change things right here without actually going back into the sketch. So if I decided that... Um, you know this dimension here should have been 16 millimeters as soon as I hit it it actually redraws it and you know kind of goes through the timeline in the background and remakes the the solid body based on that change just like it would if we went into the the sketch uh, and changed it 
So um, that's it. I think uh, this might be the last video, but uh, if not, I'll see you next time. Otherwise, uh, keep keep going. Find some more technical drawings and, and keep moving. Good luck.